Okay, so I had uh, some people inquire about how I store my comics. Um, I'm going to use a uh, foreign uh, relative value here. Uh, this is a Captain America foreign cap 110. It's French Canadian. And it's a really cool book. And for all my books that have some kind of value, I, I kind of go above and beyond. I use fullbacks. So I get my supplies from me, Gerber. I don't use halfbacks. So I use a full archival acid free fullback. And then this is the interesting thing. I actually take a four mil mylar bag that fits the fullback. I then cut the top and this size is a super golden age size or it's a golden age size. And then I buy a two mil, which is a little bit thinner mylar that goes around the book. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm basically creating, using two mylars of different sizes in a fullback, a kind of inner well for a comic. So let's uh, let's start this. I start out by taking the four mil bag and cutting the flap off of it. I get it lined up just right. I have a cutter for this, of course. I then take this now flapless four mil and I insert a cardboard into it. I now have our, my basic inner well, okay? Four mil, full back. I'm gonna put this book into it. Now there's two ways to do this. I can put this book in upside down so that when it is put inside its mylar flap, I can put it, it'll go inside like that. And the ox, any oxygen, oxygen or oxidizing gases or, or any of it has to go into the top flap, down and then up into it. It just adds a little bit more safety. So those of you that live in humid environments, that might be an option. I'm in the desert, so I don't have to do that. Um, but I'll do it just to show you. Uh, so now it's time to put the comic in the bag and board upside down. Now I've got the comic. See, there's the bottom seam. So this comic is essentially upside down. You can see where I added it. Always be careful putting your comics when you cut these. Because that edge there, because it's not a flap, can mess up spines and do all kinds of stuff. You've got to be very careful. So basically at this point, this is where your book now goes into the bag which I'll show you I then use what is called um, acid free tape so this tape has a pH that is neutral it's double sided and the nice thing about it is it's removable and uh, if your book does by some chance get stuck with it it is acid free and it uh, isn't like some of that other so now our book is sealed it's sealed up top and any kind of damaging things would have to go into that flap work its way down the book and get in through that side so moisture um off gassing and, and it, this book still can off gas it can still get stuff out of it but this is my foolproof way and look at that there is almost like an inner well and what we have here is four plus two for a total of six mylars of protection on your book. Is this overboard? Probably. But I'm not the type of guy that doesn't go overboard. I take it to the ninth degree. So there you have it. Brian, that's how I keep my books. This isn't cheap. It's expensive because mylar and halfbacks, or I mean fullbacks, um, but you could always get, you could always, if you wanted to do this, you could always do a two mil inner and a two mil outer. I, I kind of go overboard with four mil and then a two mil outer. You don't have to get that thick. 
the two mil might be a little cheaper, or you don't have to do the inner wheel at all. Just mylar and half and full back or half back. E Gerber is where I get my stuff. Do you find triple nine out?